Well, hi everybody. It's Miss Susan from the Crystal Lake Public Library. And I am excited. I get to read a book that Ro has picked out. Do you see where Ro's basket is? You do. Oh, you're so good. It's right there. It's right there. Shall we wake Ro up? Mm hmm because you know it's wintry outside and I thought we would do a winter story time about something can you think of an animal that loves the winter maybe they live in winter all the time it's one of Miss Susan's favorite animals that's your hint think about that what's Miss Susan's favorite animal other than dinosaurs because they're extinct. This is a live animal that lives on the planet right now. All right, let's wake up Ro and find out what story we're going to read. Okay, so let's wake him up. Here we go. Are you ready? What do we usually count to? Three. That's right. Here we go. One, two, three. Where is Ro? Where is Ro? Here he is. Here he is. Did you bring a story? You did? Where is it? It's in your basket. Time to read. Time to read. Well, Ro, I told them. Yes, I told them that we found a book that has an animal in it that Miss Susan loves. And these animals do live in a winter climate all year round. Have you thought about it? Have you thought about what Miss Susan's animal is? Maybe, maybe I should give them some hints, yeah? Okay, I can do that. Let's see. Um, they are the color black and white. Um, they're excellent swimmers and they love to eat fish. Do you think you can figure out what that is? They're black and white. They're excellent swimmers and they love to eat fish. Oh, I think I heard somebody say it. Shall I pull out the book and find out? Okay. Let's see if you're right. Oh, does anybody know what that is? That's a penguin. Miss Susan loves penguins. My favorite is a blue fairy penguin. Go look it up. Find out what a blue fairy penguin is. They can fit in your pocket. Well, today I am going to read Tacky and the Winter Games. And this is by Helen Lester and it is illustrated by Lynn Mussinger, and I, I love Tacky. He's an odd bird. That means he follows his heart in whatever he does, and he doesn't let others influence him. Hmm, hmm, that's a big word, influence. So, Ro, are you going to stick around for our story? No. Yeah, yeah, I know. He is nocturnal. Foxes are nocturnal. And you were what? Oh, you were up late last night. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you and Mabel. We need to bring Mabel back on here, don't we? They have been such good friends, haven't you? You really have. And uh, you're learning um, all sorts of things with Mabel and, and just reading at nighttime and yeah, we picked up a lot of books from the library before we closed. Mm -hmm. We have a ton of books. Maybe you have a ton of books at home, too. All right, well, let's say goodbye to Ro, everybody. Oh, he's going to give nose kisses. Oh, you got really close to that, didn't you? <laughs> All right, let's say goodbye to Ro. We'll put you back in your basket. All right. Good night, Ro. We'll put the basket right over here. And we will read... Winter Games. Do you see that? Oh, 
He's holding like a, a torch. I wonder what is going to happen. Oh my goodness, look at that. It looks like he's wearing skis. What is he using for skis? Fish. Floppy fish for skis. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. A huff and a puff and a huff and a puff and a huff and a puff and a huff and a puff. What's happening, blared Tacky the penguin as he came across his companions, goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect. We're uh, training, <sighs> puff, puff, as they replied. Training, wondered Tacky, hopefully, as in choo-choo. No, training like athletes. The winter games are coming and we must, must, must be in shape to win, win, win. Looking closely at Tacky, not the fittest of birds, they added, let's get going. So the penguins trained. They raced up the hill. They jumped rope. They did 100 sit-ups a day. Wow, can you do 100 sit-ups? I don't know if Miss Susan can do 100 sit-ups. I might just try. They lifted weights. I can lift weights. I lift my cat Leopard, he's like 20 pounds. And they rode bikes. They ate special training food uh-oh, what's Tacky eating? Do you see that? He's eating training food of pizza and donuts and potato chips. Is that good, healthy training food? Maybe once in a while, but not every day. Hmm. And they kept a strict training hours. Look at it. They all went to sleep before the sunset. What's Tacky doing? He is watching TV and playing with a paddle ball. Oh, it looks like he was eating popcorn, too. Hmm. wonder if he's going to be ready. Most of all, they prepared for their events. The Bob Sledless Racing, Ski Jumping, Speed Skating, and finally, after weeks and weeks, Team Nice Icy Land was ready for the long waddle to the Winter Games, and off they went. Rada -ta -ta, rada -ta the athletes marched into the stadium for the opening ceremonies. Teams had come from far and wide. They came from the highlands, they came from the lowlands, the funlands, and of course, Nice Icy Land. Rada -ta -ta, rada -ta -ta. On they marched. Ready, teddy, boom, teddy, ready, teddy, boom, hey! Tacky marched to a different drummer. He always does. For the big show, the penguins all joined in singing the Winter Games anthem. Hmm. I can't read music, so I'm just going to wing it on my own. Here we go. With our beaks held high and our bellies held low, we will do our best in the ice and snow. With a yodel waddle ho and a yodel waddle he, may the best team win. Let's hope it is we. After lighting the torch and exchanging high five flippers as a sign of friendship, the athletes filed out past the display of medals. Medals to dream about. Not bad. Pretty good. Big winner. The sun rose and eager penguins prepared for the first event, the Bob Sledless Race. Little webbed feet wrapped around big penguin tummies and pop, they were off. Tacky was way off. Looking at the wonderful hill below him, he cried, great for belly sliding. And with that, he charged under his surprised teammates and sped them down, crossing the finish line in record time. 
time. But wait, the official announced this is a bobless race. You have bobsled. Goodly, lovely angel neatly and perfect tried to explain that it was not a bobsled. It was a penguin. Does not look like a penguin, said the official, examining Tacky. Not much like a bobsled either. Don't know what it is. Anyway, no medals for you illegal equipment. So no medals for Team Nice Icy Land yet. In the afternoon, the athletes strapped frozen fish on their feet for the ski jumping event. And while the jumpers waited for their turns, Tacky spent just a few moments in the hut, toasting his toes by the fire. What do you think's gonna happen? He's got frozen fish on his webbed feet. And with heat against frozen fish, they're going to get floppy. Weren't the winter sports fun? <gasps> swoop, plop, swoop, plop, swoop, plop. One after another, the athletes made graceful jumps and lovely landings. Plippy, ploppy, plippy, ploppy, plippy, ploppy, plippy, ploppy. What was this? Tacky's fish had become thawed by the warmth of the fire and were now flopping wildly. He made a high jump than he had ever intended and lots and lots of landings. No medals for Team Nice Icy Land yet. That evening, the speed skating race relay was the Final event. Last chance, Tacky, warned goodly, lovely angel, neatly and perfect, who were looking mighty aerodynamic in their costumes, and Tacky looked mighty, well, tacky. The other teams had already finished, and their times were very fast. Can you see those results? Wow. Now it was team nice Icy Land's turn. Oh, wow. Let's see what they're going to do. And pop. Off they went. One by one, Tacky's companions took a turn around the rink. Goodly passed the baton to Lovely, who passed the baton to Angel, who passed the baton to Neatly, who passed the baton to Perfect who passed the baton to Tacky, who said, thank you, and ate it. He ate the baton. Oh, no. Ate it? Ate it? Well, it looked like a hot dog. His companions wailed, you, you ate, you ate the baton? And in frustration, they began to chase him around the rink. Tag, cried Tacky. He loved nothing better than a good game of tag. He skated faster and faster and faster and faster and barreled across that finish line in record time. Oh my gosh. But wait, had Team Nice Icy Land really won? Did Tacky have the baton? Without the baton, Team Nice Iceland would be disqualified. Out came the medics. Off went Tacky on the stretcher under the eye of the big x-ray machine. They x-rayed his bottom portion. Nothing there. They x-rayed his top. Certainly nothing there. They x-rayed his middle and yes, there it was. Goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect hugged Tacky. Tacky was an odd bird, but a nice bird to have around. The end. Wasn't that a good story? I love Tacky. See, he marches to the beat of a different drummer. He just does what's in his heart. 
And he's got a very big heart, doesn't he? Well, I hope you enjoyed that wonderful story of Tacky. If you check out on Hoopla, there are lots of resources about penguins. Maybe you might want to go check that out. Hmm? And also, do you see in the back here? I'm putting a plug in for my new Snuggle in Storytime. I'm going to be reading The Very, Very Far North by Dan Barrell. And there are lots of friends here that Dwayne the Polar Bear meets. Check out our calendar to when we'll be starting that because it's coming up really soon. I actually think it's next week. So join me for this. We're going to have, I think, seven half-hour programs. And I'm actually going to be sitting here and reading the story to you. So it'll be like Miss Susan is in your home reading a story. So join me for that. I will see you soon, very, very soon, my friends.